In this video, I'm gonna show you how I sync over 100 clips all at once in Final Cut Pro in three simple steps. Normally, I use a multi-camera sync program called Pluralize for two reasons. One, it works better than the built-in sync function found in Final Cut Pro, and two, it's even easier to use than the already easy to use Final Cut Multicam tool. I can just drag and drop my footage in it and it syncs everything together creating one flawless multicam file, which I prefer over multiple multicam files because to do that, I would have to pull the footage together, sync everything individually for each part of my project I'm working on. It's a process that can be easily avoided using a program like Pluralize. After Pluralize syncs your footage, it creates an XML file that you can import into Final Cut Pro until this happened. Enter Final Cut Pro Update 10.6. At the time of this recording, ever since this update, Final Cut won't play nice with Pluralize. Like I mentioned, Final Cut Pro does have a multi-camera sync tool, but it's very basic in my opinion. If you've got five clips that need to be synchronized, sure, go ahead. Final Cut should handle that with ease. But for me, I film weddings that produce hundreds, if not sometimes thousands of video and audio clips, and throwing all that at Final Cut the same way I throw it at Pluralize, it's an absolute mess. Until I found out the one one thing I was doing wrong while syncing footage in Final Cut Pro. I wasn't giving my clips a camera angle name, which is an absolute game changer. So if you've had trouble with Final Cut's multicam sync tool before, hopefully you'll find some answers during this tutorial. Let's hop into Final Cut. The first step is on your initial import, you're going to want to have this option selected under keywords. Um, you're going to want to have it checked from folders. Now this is completely optional, but I'm going to show you why I do this. So I'm going to select the folders that I want to import. Uh, Road Go 1, Road Go 2, Sony TX660, uh, Tascam Bright Plus, DR10X, and then Groom Plus, and then Zoom H5. I'm just gonna make one final look over, make sure I'm including everything and it looks like I am. So before I import, just make sure that um, this is selected from folders. We're gonna click import selected. It's gonna do its thing. And then bam, as you can see at the left hand corner here, all of my folders have now become something called keyword collections. If you were to make a, you know, a ceremony multicam, you could take all of your footage all of your audio clips and then group them together using keyword collections. And then what you're gonna do is you just wanna go ahead and select on any of your clips in any of the keyword collections and this screen over here is gonna pop up under the inspector. Um, so you're gonna wanna click this eye and then you should see this. And if you don't see this panel right away, go down to the bottom and make sure extended is selected. So under extended, you're going to see something called camera angle. And here's where you're going to want to input a camera angle name. So this is really important because it gives you the ability to add a name to each of your camera angles. If you've ever edited a multi-camera clip in Final Cut Pro, you will notice that you're cutting between angles. This gives Final Cut another level of direction. So it doesn't have to work so hard when you're throwing multiple clips at it. So step two is to actually name all of your camera angles. So the reason I like keyword collections is because it is a collection of all the clips from one camera. So what I'm going to do under my 16 keyword collection is I'm going to select all the footage and then I'm going to come over to camera angle and I'm going to name it 16. And now if I highlight my clips, you can see that each of them have a camera angle uh, name of 16. So I'm just going to go through each of my keyword collections over here and I'll get them name and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm done. So what I'm going to do next is select all of my keyword collections and what that's going to do is it's going to pull all of the clips within the keyword collections and then I'm going to come over to the pool of clips and then I'm gonna press Command A and it's gonna select all my clips. And you can see here it says 124 of 124 selected, almost 30 hours of footage. So this is what I mean. This is why I like Pluralize. Pluralize just gives you the option to throw everything at it and then click one button. So I'm going to right click and then select new multicam. 
and I'm going to leave it as untitled multicam clip. Um, for the angle assembly, I use camera angle. By default, it's automatic, but I, I'm totally sure it's fine if I just left it automatic, but I just use camera angle because that's what I know I'm working with. And then for the video frame rate and resolution, that's going to be up to you. But for me, when I do anything multicam, it's always someone speaking and I usually like that to be 24 frames so i'm just going to keep it at uh the frame rate i choose here which is 23.98 frames a second leave it at 1080p and turn on use audio for synchronization and then you're going to click okay so it's going to synchronize all of my clips and i'm going to let it do its thing man what is this i got oh man i got the lebron going on right now man jeez so the synchronization is done and here is the clip so let's dive on in it and make sure everything's synced up. So I'm looking for three things. I'm looking for a ceremony. I'm looking for a groom card reading. And then I'm also looking for speeches. So right off the bat, I can tell that the ceremony is lined up perfectly. I have an angle called 16, an angle called 28 by 75 or 275. I have 85, 85 Cinna, and then my audio gear. So that's why I like keyword collections because it keeps everything really consistent even when you're editing in the multicam. So my ceremony looks good and my audio sources look lined up as well. Right before the ceremony, my card reading should be here. It's gonna zoom in right here. And yep, there it is. So moving on, we have the ceremony, obviously. And then the last thing I'm looking for is um, the speeches, which I believe it's over here. So I really only operated with three angles. I had multiple sources of audio and it, you know, just off the jump, it looks like everything has synced up pretty well, if not perfectly. So yeah, that's how you do it in Final Cut Pro, syncing over 100 clips. Giving your clips camera angle names is the key here. It gives Final Cut a level of direction. If you don't do this while trying to sync these many clips, Final Cut might not be able to handle the sync operation. You might be asking if a program like Pluralize is worth its $300 price tag. To be honest with you, I still think it is. Pluralize only does one thing, but it does it so well. To be completely honest, this method of naming your camera angles is not 100% perfect. There has been times where it won't work as well as it has in this tutorial. There's also no audio drift correction, something that Pluralize does. When filming your content, be sure your internal or external audio device is picking up sound at a decent level. If you need a convenient clip-on microphone that offers great sound, I use a Sony TX660, which has served me very well over the past year, and I made a video detailing what I like about it. If you have any questions about this video, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to walk you through any issues you might be having. As always, thank you for watching, have a beautiful rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next one.